Hello, ladies and gents, I'm the Rev, and this is Space Pirates and Zombies 2. Now, if you played the first one, like I did, love the game, you'll be somewhat familiar with this, but they have changed a lot of things up. And, as you guys saw in the beginning, give you guys a little taste of the combat. Well, at the end of it, as, you get, as I'm blowing stuff up. Which is always fun. But I wanted to show you the old ship here to begin with. Now I'm probably about three quarters into the game, and boy, I'll tell you what, this game A is very hard. And B, it's not just you and your ship going and blowing things up. I tried that, I had to restart once. There's a lot of things to this game that weren't as heavily prevalent as in the first game so hold on one second and we'll go somewhere else all right folks first thing you can see is this is the map that we are now dealing with it's completely different than the first game and basically these are all different factions this is the zombie horde and as you go through you actually have to really pay attention to things like little wars between uh, different factions and all kinds of little nuances they tell you them in the game but a lot of times you know you're so focused on combat you want to get my ship as beefy as possible there are a lot of things so basically what I'm saying is I'm gonna take and do a guided playthrough starting from the very beginning of this so if you guys do want to play you will want to check that out that's gonna have a whole bunch of tips, tricks, everything that I know from playing this game because yes it's hard but it is beatable. It's also early access which leads me to um, one of the other things I wanted to talk to you about and let's see, let's check out a starbase. Where am I? There we are. Okay so we'll go to our starbase here, one of the many ones that we have and the only real thing I'm seeing issue-wise with the game is balance. And the zombies are way too powerful and they expand way too fast. Um, all of this, you see here, he did all of this within like five turns. And it turns each time you click to go somewhere and you go somewhere. I mean, everything I think pauses while you're playing and then as you go somewhere, they react. Well, every time, I mean, it took him nothing. And then as I've been able to wipe out the bases here, you'll get five or six zombie ships right on you and you can't build a base. So they want to regaining the, the area. So what that means is that you then have to do uh, bounty and rewards just to keep them in check. I can see right here. Okay, so this one is, Threat's at 35 because he just took that over, so I'm going to add to the bounty, and seems like around 50 G's is the magical number, but, and you can trade uh, credits, slaves, or res, and I'll tell you when you can't do, uh, do any more, there we go, I'll add to that. So, this is way too crazy. That, and I didn't play close enough attention to the factions, and I should have gotten um, a couple of the factions on my side, on my side before um, the zombie part of the game starts. Because the first part of the game, there's a bunch of white squares, and everyone's taking over space, and, you know, you slowly get up there. And it is... Um, the zombies are held in check by how you play the game so the more things get filled up and the further you go in the story the faster the zombies will come which is cool but again like I said there's man you really gotta watch all the various 4x elements because they are brutally hard I mean if you the uh, the first restart I didn't pay real close attention to um, factions that hated me you know I was just going and I was hitting every one of these little wars that I could and I turned all the factions against me and I couldn't do anything because I had constant ships constantly hitting me and um, so I had to restart 
And now I've gotten to the point now where after the zombie horror thing happened, I was like, holy crap, that was like, you know, hardly any t in game time. Uh, they took over so fast. Uh, if you can even kill one of these stations, because it always, at the very least, every time I've uh, gone against a station, there's been two of their battle cruisers that come out that you fight with, plus the station. And. Wow, unlimited fighters, just all kinds of stuff. So, like I said, that's something, you know, that needs to be worked on. Although, I could be wrong when we go through and we do our next playthrough, which I'm going to start probably right after this video. I'm going to make a point of really building up all of my faction strength and making sure I have enough money to build all of my star bases up super fast. Because it takes about 50 grand to get them up to full strength, which is level 80. Um, for some reason, it can go beyond level 80, and mine can't either, which I don't understand. I think you should be able to keep building up your, you know, your things here, so you know it's kind of arms racing to these guys. But again, first impressions, and you know, the game is still in early access. But from a lot of the games that I've seen, this is like I'd say 90% done. They just really need to handle the balance is the biggest issue, I would say, at the very most. So let's see. And where do we want to go? Because I will show you guys some fun combat here. Tell you what, guys, what we're going to do is we are going to go and we're going to fight that base. Now, I do have a very slow companion which probably won't get there in time and you're gonna have these constant updates of course flashing in your face telling you uh, the different territories as they get on each other's sides and fight and war and everything but we'll hit this station and I'll show you guys how brutal it is because let's see uh oh call waiting that means they just ate another one of my captains I'm not gonna answer that I don't care Ooh, someone else is attacking okay so let's Oh, look at that. I've actually got multiple ships on my side for once. We might actually win this one. Interesting. So, of course, we'll go after this while they go after all the little fire doers and such. So we actually did that, but now... Oh, and when you have combat with other ships, we have battle uh, scavenge, I guess, is what we get. Whatever that is. Now, all right. Ooh, I can add another core. So we got armor that we can do for an upgrade. And uh, I think it's every... Oh boy, no, I'm not sure. Level 35. So you can break that down. Probably even number there to get slots. So... At this point, I think I'm going to keep go for armor. Armor uh, makes it so it's hard for them to blow pieces off your ship. Now, I got 12 Gs. I should be able to at least build or attempt to build a base, and I'll show you what happens. Oh, I actually got to build it. This will put him in charge. Wow. Now, the only problem with putting someone uh, in charge is that you then can't get from the stockpile here, which sucks. But this is a quick little rundown of the base, so I just took it over. It's a baby base. As you can see, we've got some whole bunch of the various parts of the ship here on the right side. Um, oh, wow, I'm starting to get some good... Ooh, that's a new... What is that? Explosive warhead, huh? Hmm. Corrosive warhead.
So all kinds of stuff here. New things coming up. Engines. And on this side, if I take this off, you can see this is how my sh ship is currently built. Now, from what I've seen, um, if you take and you um, group these guys, you get bonuses. But when it comes to sheer firepower and defense, I've found that it's okay. But I'm much more effective with the way I've got the ship built here. And I'm just slowly now starting to add things to it because i got enough power uh, punch as I try uh, different weapon sets and things like that. But that's something else that I think they need to be balanced. They need to make when you do like, let's you know, four of these cores and you plug things into them, the, the bonuses should be a lot bigger than what they currently are. But instead, I've gone and I've done as heavy a shields as I can. And the other thing they don't have here is DPS. That's the other thing I'd like them seeing them to do. So it says laser laser fighter. Um, here, let me give you a better example. Okay, torpedo 2.1, and it's got one star, right? So if you look at the torpedo without a star, it doesn't have uh, the shield, right? And it's still supposedly 2.1. Now when you get to something like projectile weapons. So is each projectile 2.0? Because if they are and you pay close enough attention, they're not hitting that way. So I just like, you know, one of the few things is I'd like to see a better um, overall DPS and such for my ship. You see what I see? I've got just about all the numbers, but there is no, and I'll put this, there we go, Icon Legend. There's nothing about what the DPS whole ship, you know, make it so the right side, you know, does this much, and the left side does that much, front does this much, back does that much. That way you've got all four parts of it, and you could do the DPS and show that. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be hard, that hard to just plug that in. I think, if, you know, if they can do those calculations and have them up so that you have a better idea of where your ship's weaknesses are right now it's still kind of a guessing game so and now I don't have a huge amount but I will put what little I do have and let's see they don't have any money at all which new bases don't so one of these bases should have some money in it like right there so the cool part then is I can go right over here. Cha-ching. And then left click over here and keep working on the expansion. Expansion basically means the defenses and the power of the base. And like I said, it, it takes um, maybe 50 was too much. Maybe around 20, 25. Yeah, see what is it at now. So three more. And yeah, we're not that far away. There's a lot of different ways you can earn it. This one should have some good stuff to it by now. That's not bad. Close enough to get that. And what I've found also is that once you get your bases to 80, they can defend themselves. Which is awesome. But that is the first time I haven't been swarmed by the alien ships. So... Right, and we'll see about getting this one. Yes, done on. All right, so now it is mine. And the whole point, of course, is to continue to build my empire. As you can see, I'm the uh, most dominant force right now. But I shouldn't have done that. What I should have done was get everybody on my side because it makes it really hard after the zombies hit for you to get people on your side because the expansion just goes crazy fast. So what I should have done was get everybody on my side, and then I'd have maybe three or four of these, but I would have huge bounties on everything so that, um, you know, they can't stop all the attacks coming at once. They can't send the ships because they don't have enough ships. And I think that way you can beat the game. Um, but I could be wrong because again, it is early access, and I don't know what happens when you get to him, which is the main bad guy. This is the main base that you've got to take over. Now, I don't understand why 
the threat here, or the, the base itself is 103 when my main base, and I'll show you that, is 80. I can't do anything to make it any bigger or better. So that's another thing I think I'd like to see addressed is, you know, their base, their head base and my head base should be able to, you know, do an arms race. I'd like to see that. But anyways, folks, so like I said, this is a real fun game. It's um, It's got uh, the third person slash rebel galaxy-esque uh, combat, which is 3D now. And then in the other game, it was all 2D. And, ooh, that's loud. Uh, it has some really, I mean, they've really done a good job, I think, with the 4X elements. You've just got to pay attention. So, like I said, I'll be doing a playthrough to give you guys an idea on how best to do that. So, please like, favorite, subscribe. Help me out. Help these guys out. Check the game out. Of course, I will put a link in the description. Now, I did get a press copy from these guys, which is cool, but nothing else. I don't ever take any swag or take payment from any developers to promote their game. Never done it, not about to start now. So please, again, like, favorite, subscribe, and if you wanna support my channel, head on over to Patreon. I've been uh, posting once a month over there where it says all the stuff I'm currently working on so you can get an idea and you can check out the rewards. There's only two, a dollar and five dollars currently. Um, and if patrons, you know, if you guys want me to put in more, of course, let me know. Because over there, there is a private email that you have access to when you do become a patron. Anyways, folks, please keep your heads down. And I can't shoot, dang it. Ah, and your guns up. See you again real soon, folks.